Hey and welcome back. In the previous lesson, we finished setting up our project. So now let's start building our front end. So the first thing I want to do is close my terminal. Also close the package.json file, collapse the server folder, and let's focus on our client folder, which is our front end. The next thing I want to do is do some cleanup and delete the file that we will not need. Like the app uh, CSS, the app tests, the index CSS, the logo SVG, report and setup tests. Now let's open up the app.js, remove this line and also this line. And I will completely remove the header tag. Give that a quick save. Navigate to my index.js file. Remove this line. Also this. And this. Give that a quick save. Now I want to navigate to my public folder. Delete the fav icon. Logo. The manifest. And also robot text. Open the uh, index.html. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Remove this line. Also this. All of this. This too. Change my title. I will call it more an auth. Give it a quick save. And now let's check out our front end. It is currently a blank page, which is totally fine because we have not added any components or layout yet. So now let's go back to VS Code. Next, what I want to do is apply some global styling. So I will create a new folder called access. And within it, I will create two new folder. One will be for CSS. And the other will be for images. So in this um, series, I will be using SAS. So I'm going to make a new file within my CSS folder. And I will call it main.scss. So the easiest way that I find working with SAS and React is use a uh, plugin from VS Code called Live SAS Compiler. Which is this plugin right here. And all I have to do is navigate down to the bottom bar and click watch SAS. And now all of my SAS file will be compiled live every time I press save. So the next thing I want to do is some CSS reset. I'll say margin is zero. Padding is also, also zero. Box sizing, border box. Image will be max width 100%. The width itself will also be 100%. I also want to define a container with a max width of 1440 pixel and a width of 100%. I want to center things, so it'll be margin zero auto. I also want to give padding of top and bottom zero and 15 pixel left and right. So when our application is on mobile view, it will have some padding on the left and the right. I'm going to press save and let that compile. The next thing I want to do is include those styling in my index.html. I will, I will place it here with my link tag and it is in my assets folder inside my CSS folder and I will use the main.css give that a quick save the next thing I want to do is apply some custom font one of my favorite font is prompt by Google font and I would choose the light 300 regular 400 and medium 500. 
I will select the import option. Copy this line. Navigate back to my VS Code. Go to my main.scss file and input my font here. Paste that in. And now in the body, I want to say the font family will be prompt. Give it a quick save. Now I'm going to close all of these files. Navigate to my source folder and create a new folder called components. Within it, I'm going to create another folder called variables. Inside variables, I'm going to make a new file called variables.scss. So this is where I want to put all my uh, colors and my mixing. So these are the colors that I will use for our front end. All of the hex code is in the GitHub repo. So you can find that and just copy and paste that in. So the next thing I want to do is define my mixing. Once again, all of this is also in the repo. So copy and paste that in. And I do want to explain a little bit about mixing. What it is, it's just a media query for different screen sizes. So the next thing I want to do is test out my variables and mixing. I will navigate to my component folder and create another folder called login. Within that, I'm going to create two new files. The first one will be login.js. And the next one will be login.scss. First, I'm going to have some placeholder style. So I will say login. Background will be black. Give that a quick save. Navigate to my login.js file. Define my component and I will name it login. I'm going to give it a div with a class name of login. Inside, there's going to be a p tag and I'm just going to say login. Give that a quick save. Now I want to open up my app.js file. First, I want to import the login component. So I will say import login and then I'll put that down here. Give that a quick save and then navigate to my front end. As you can see, it will display here, but we have not seen the style yet. So let's go back to our VS code, navigate to my login component and require the style in. So I will say import login.css. Give that a quick save. Navigate back to the front end. And as you can see, the background is black. Navigate back to my VS code inside the login.scss file. First, I want to include the variables. So at import inside my variables folders, and I want to use the variables.scss file. Remember to type in the semicolon, give that a quick save. So instead of using background color of black, I will use my variable of pink, give that a quick save, navigate to my front end. And as you can see, the background is pink. Go back to VS code and test out my mixing. So I will say display none here. And to use one of the mixing, I will say add include. I will use the tablet screen size and say login to display initial. Give that a quick save. Navigate to my front end. So as you can see, any screen size that is tablet size, which is 768 pixel or greater, we will have display initial. But if I go to inspector mode in Chrome, and any screen size that's less than that, we set it to display none. So this verifies our variables and mixing is working correctly. I will close the inspector and go back to my VS code. Now I actually want to delete these um, test lines. I'm gonna leave the uh, background pink and click save. Um, next, there's two things that I want to address. The first one is our um, fav icon. 
So I will go to the public folder. So while off camera, I added a file in our image folder called shuttle.svg. And I will use this for our fav icon. And I also include this in our GitHub repo. So you can uh, download this and include this into your image file. So now I'm gonna close everything and open up my index.html. And I will put the fav icon here with my link tag. Navigate to my access folder into my image and select the shuttle.svg. Change the style sheet into icon and click save. Navigate to my front end. So as you can see, the fav icon is here. Now I want to go back to my VS code and address the second things. I will open up my login.js file. For the moment, I will delete everything. So there's a part in the beginning of the lesson that you guys might have a question when I um, type SFC and click tab and this create a snippet for me already. So the way I was able to do this is using a VS Code plugin. And it is called simple react snippet. And the snippet is right here, SFC. So if you were curious about that, this is how I did it. All right, I'm gonna undo everything. And this wrap up our lesson. And in our next lesson, we're gonna start with our login flow. All right, see you then.